I still want to touch on this VDM Falano issue. You know, before I touch on them, I won't clear some things up. You know, I want to clear some things up. You know, about me and VDM relationship, where I think many people get it twisted. You know, yeah, we are cool, but I know they control VDM, and. If you don't know yet, by looking at VDM on this page, let me tell you now. But the hear what? You can't tell him nothing. You can't tell him nothing. <laughs> you know the hear what? You know, you can't tell him nothing. You know. And one friend of mine. I'm not gonna mention her name because no need. William says something about her. She messaged me, you know. I told I told her, go and sue him. Go and sue him to court. You know. Because what he says has nothing to do with me. I told her immediately, I said, go and sue him to court. And when I say VDM, this issue of files and in pops and Bob Risky and prison, when I say VDM, tell me, he's literally, he told me with mouth. Everybody online now is saying he plays on the tape, he plays on the tape, he plays on the tape. VDM did not play me any tape. He tell me with mouth, with mouth like this. Tell me with mouth. Say, I hear Bob Risky say, I get evidence. Say, Bob Risky say, this was. I say, ah. And if I can't tell her, I say, me no talk about. <laughs> now, I go see talk, say, ah. She always try to protect his family. So, me, I had, I don't, I did not have any, I wasn't conniving. I did not have any, you know, I would like put her, ulterior motives. Because now, Mr. Commerce, I talk, say, ah, he tell me before he talk her. You know, if I they push her, if I they wind up, doesn't mean they do all those things for back. You know, there's no way I'll come outside and say he told me. I go hide in the shadows because it's a shadowy affair. So I need to hide in the shadow. You know? <laughs> It'll have been a shadowy affair. So I will just stay for where I did the push button. But you know, the matter don't concern me. That's why I say ah, he told me. And I told you, ah, go and see what you are going to see. You know. And I'm sorry, deeply sorry, you know, if that offended Uncle Femi. It's really not my intention. You know. I will not in any way, shape, or form want to join anybody, even VDM, to fight Uncle Femi Falano. We have been through a lot, we have come a long way, you know. Left to me, you know, the issue of, you know, whether somebody say or not, is something that could have been said, ah, it happened, it didn't happen, case closed. That's the one way matter to me, I will repeat it anywhere, was the institutional lapses of EFCC taking money to drop money laundering charge, you know. I'll never join issues with anybody to try and denigrate, insult, defi defame, in any way, I do anything like any, you know, and when people are talking and involving me in VDM's post, am I VDM's producer? She the rights which you want to give me for approval. I don't, it never happened. You know, this thing is surprising to me. In fact, I did not even know that when he was going to do his video, he go ask, you know, the innuendos and things like that. You know, that's his style. You know, he didn't tell me he was going to do all that, you know. And also, I feel personally, and I've asked him, even if I tell him, don't do it, he would have done it. He would have done it. <laughs> he told me himself, and you can verify from people close to us, he would have done it. 
you know. You would have done it. You know, so me, I didn't join issues with anybody against, you know, Uncle Femi Falano. And even with Files, I did the best that I can do if two people that I take as younger brothers are having a spat. It's not my place to take side. I told him immediately, you know, call Files and to try and sort it out within yourselves, you know. And, you know, left to me, I would love to see an amicable ending, you know. But if that is not the issue, you know, I will not now come outside publicly to start taking sides between the two of them. That means they put fire, you know. And to be honest also, I told him, I said, the innuendos that he used against Fars. Fars didn't like it, you know, because it made people think maybe it's true with the innuendos, you know. But that's the best that I can do on the issue to try and ameliorate whatever has happened, you know. But once more, to Uncle Femi, you know, I'm prof profoundly sorry if anything that came out hurt him. I've said to people, I've seen him work many cases. What I've never seen is Uncle Femi take money from those people that he decided to help in any case, you know. He's not that guy. He's not that guy. So, yeah. So all these bloggers that are mentioning my name up and down and going all over the place trying to make this a shame issue. Shame doesn't have anything whatsoever to do with this issue. You know, the issue is not my problem at all. You know, he's not even say anything. Don't be saying the matter can't be like this, but I won't have asked very dark man to send me the thing to hear. You know, now when all these things be like, say, let me even hear what this thing that you put out is saying. You know. So, you know, once more, as I've done privately, and I can also do publicly, hopefully, you know, this matter can be resolved and those that are in the wrong can be brought to, to book in any way, shape or form, especially these are our institutions that are, are dragging us down. Okay, and um, we know you to be a very intelligent man. Let's follow this issue from the top because you said you want those that are in the wrong to be put in proper perspectives so that we clearly get those that are in the wrong. Number one, blaming bloggers who is making it a shown issue does not add up because in all of this matter we didn't know that Sean Kuti was involved until after Very Darkman posted the video and Sean Kuti now did another video to confirm that Very Darkman had told him before releasing the video. I remember when you did the video you said you guys are late to the party now me first tell and I tell him, post him. David Akma, post him. Now your words are he gives you. When you, you go Kuje, me, I go party, somebody can go apartment. David Akma, post him. And now you are telling us that he didn't tell you that he was going to involve a fallen or he didn't play you the tape. But he had already posted the video before you confirmed that he told you. But let's even agree that I didn't tell you. So somebody brought an issue to you and told the bros. They don't give me audio of when Bobby says they tell somebody saying no stay prison. I want post time. And you, without hearing what the audio has, you say post time. I don't know how that makes sense. But it won't go add up.
It doesn't make sense. Right? If your Abu comes to you and says, this is what I want to do. Ah, let us hear. Then when you hear, you can say, okay, talk here like this, not talk here like this. We are not saying you control, but you will advise you are necessary. That advice you are necessary is what you fail to do. As an egg bond that you have. Because the guy came to you for guidance. According to the story you gave us. Now that's being said. You also agreed here. That he used some in windows that are wrong. And that's the whole problem of this matter. Nobody is blaming him for releasing an audio. That is alleged to be true or false. We are not blaming him for that. If he had just played that audio. And call everybody to come and clarify we won't be blaming him the issue we are blaming him for is the in windows because immediately he said i'll be far safe they do as he dropped that video these four shows when he called followers ran to fast page and started blasting him why because very dark man don't talk now it is now obvious and clear that even the people he accused Apart from the EFCC, the prison, and Bobrisky, the followers he talked about, we are innocent of the things he talked about. And to all those people saying that it should be, should be Falano to say, eh, uh, far say the caller. So there was a call. You are very daft, dull. There was a call. And waiting they talk for that video, do they sound alike? When did the call become a crime in Nigeria? You know? Now you have found out that one of your bro is wrong. You tell him, just apologize to those people. But here you are telling us that that same your bro that you know that is wrong is a very stubborn bro who doesn't listen to anybody. A man who does not listen to anybody will finally self-destruct. Stubbornness and stupidity are far apart. You see, a stubborn person is somebody who knows what he wants and goes for it against all odds. So when people are trying to discourage him about going for it, he knows what he wants and he will go for it. That's a stubborn person. A stupid person is somebody that even when they enter God time, not the year. That's a stupid person. That's not being stubborn. And now everybody has been telling him, send that no reserve apology. We know the year. But the day to go verse a family fallen on now and not come better criminal charge. Because he's not guy go be going in that trouble. If family fallen not decides to do that. That then I will call the blamer. Now, as close as he is to you, if you can talk to your uncle like that without confirming whether the statements were right, imagine the things he has said about other people. Are we sure he has confirmed many of those things he's saying? Because you are responsible for he's responsible for the audio he brought out to. Everybody's saying why has they not charged sue? Eh, why they never sue Bob Whiskey? There has not been any proof here to say that audio is authentic. Once we can ascertain that that audio is authentic, then Bob Whiskey will collect your lawsuit. But for now, Bob Whiskey said no be voice. Now you have to prove that it is his voice. The question is who will prove it? In the constitution of Nigeria, he who alleges must prove. So it's the same very document that is supposed to prove if that audio is authentic. These are the homework I was saying. Have you done before releasing this video with me when they cost me? I know I'm not going to call myself his fan. I'm not going to let people advise him. I'm not going to jump like for sure. They attack people unnecessarily. Now he's in trouble. All those nonsense they talk. Highest that tell him on Jay Bro and a lie. They're not criminal suits. <laughs>